Hi, I am Sanjay Bajaj from Centum Learning. Today I will be speaking to you on a topic that is of interest to trainers, trainers deathbed. A trainers job is a very unique job. If you have 20 participants in a room, you actually have 20 pairs of eyes looking directly at you, 20 pairs of ears listening to every word that you say and 20 brains working and thinking differently. Each person is analyzing your message in 20 different ways. Now how many times in your life as a, or work life as a trainer have you come across situations where the program almost bombed? You came across a situation that you thought that it was better you were not alive. The situation just was too bad. One such incident is on the top of my mind. Few years ago, I was taking a classroom and I was teaching the concept of empathy. I explained the concepts of empathy and sympathy using the concept of getting into somebody else's shoes. Now, this was just the usual approach that we would take in uh, for this kind of a topic. Immediately as soon as I finished the discussion, one person got up from his seat, walked up across to the room and he stood there, he took off his shoes and said, Sir, will you wear my shoes and tell me where my shoe hurts me? I was dumbstruck. I did not know how to handle this situation. Now, if you were in my place, what would you do? How would you handle this situation? Just think. Now, the second incident that I can recall. Now, this was a colleague of mine who was uh, given a topic to train on. This topic was HIV AIDS and he was told that uh, he has to take this topic for 30 men and he prepared for the topic. He, he did not know of the topic earlier, so he prepared very well. Now, on the appointed day, at the appointed time, this colleague of mine went to the venue, opened the door and he was flabbergasted. He did not know what was happening. The room had 30 women. This man who had prepared to deliver a lecture to 30 men was now faced with 30 women. Now what would you do in such a situation? How would you handle it? Just think. Now there is uh, another incident that I remember. One day late afternoon, a colleague of mine, Madhu, I remember her. She came to me and she asked me for content for a workshop on innovation. Now this was the workshop that her trainer ha had to take it on the next day. The trainer Rajiv, he approached me. I said, I don't have it. However, I have uh, four day content. It was a regular content to be taken for a workshop of four days. I gave it to Rajiv and I said, customize it as you wish. Now this content had approximately 150 PowerPoint slides. Next day, the day of the workshop, close to noon time, Madhu came to me and said she wanted more content. I didn't know what was happening. I asked her, she said the trainer has finished or completed the content. Now this really struck me, four days content finished within three hours. The trainer must have gone on a total whirlwind tour. He would have just read from the slides one after the other. The, this kind of situation usually happens when the trainer is not prepared and is not ready to entertain any questions or handle any discussions. Now, if you were in my position, what would you do? How would you handle this situation? Just think. Okay, now how would I respond in these situations or what would I recommend? First of all, as a trainer, just give a break. Give the class a break. You need a few minutes to think and to respond. If the situation occurs just before the tea time or the lunch time, then you are in for luck. However, 
If it's not so, then you just need to give a bio break. Take your five minutes and then respond. In the first case, the case of the participant who had come forward and taken off his shoes in the class, all I had to do was explain the idiom, getting into someone else's shoes and then correlate it with the participant's query. Just as simple as that. There was no need to really physically get into the participant's shoes. Now the second case, the case where my friend encountered 30 women sitting in the room when he was prepared to see 30 men. In such case, you have to use the trainer's ultimate capability to think on your feet. Just think on your feet. What I recommend is a method given by Terence Gargiulo. This is called the random conversation method of storytelling for trainers. A great method. Try it sometime. And now the third case. All I had to tell Madhu was, believe me, the program has already bombed. You go back to the training room, send Rajiv back to the office and take charge. That's the best that you can do. This video is just the first one in a series of videos on the topic of trainer's deathbed. Visit Centum Learning website for more videos on this topic. Thank you.